All verse rise of my soul, family, peace to the God, stars, and goddesses. This is going to be a powerful unk life message for the mind, heart, and soul. Soul family. I have noticed that a lot of these dark skinned melanated females in Pennsylvania, they treat these spiritual dark skinned melanated males like trash, degrading them, labeling them strange, weird, crazy, just because a dark skinned melanated male chooses to not represent himself as the stereotype the way these racist european colonizing slave owner white supremacists wants a dark-skinned male to be in a country of usa it it is sad and it hurts so firmly because a lot of these dark-skinned melanated girls in pennsylvania they will look at a dark-skinned melanated dude that's spiritually awake that's in tune with his african spirituality for example They'll turn, they'll turn their back on those dark-skinned melanated dudes that spiritually awake. But they'll give all the praises and all the roses and all the flowers, all the candy, all these type of royalty treatments to these white supremacist, racist-ass, European, Caucasian colonizers. And you know it hurt me to even say this, but it's the truth. And the thing is, a lot of these dark-skinned, melanated girls, just like the medium tone and the light-skinned, melanated girls in Pennsylvania, a lot of these dark-skinned, melanated girls in Pennsylvania, in USA, they be, they be prostitutes for these European, Caucasian men out in Pennsylvania. But they, but they, but they expect, uh, they, but they expect a dark-skinned, melanated guy to, like, you know, be this, be this be be this fucking superhero guy but you know to to match their standards that they come up with but when it comes to a european caucasian colonizer dude in pennsylvania these dark-skinned millionaire girls they throw all these they throw all these unrealistic standards out the window and be a huge prostitute do you not see how bad that is so finally do you not see how bad it is and yes, it's everywhere in USA. It's not just Pennsylvania, but it's the highest percent in Pennsylvania. Look at the colleges there. Temple University. Pittsburgh University. Should, should I go on? Look, a lot of these dark skinned melanated girls in Pennsylvania she could be a dark-skinned Jamaican. She could be a dark-skinned Haitian. She could be a dark-skinned Liberian. She could be a dark-skinned Ugandan girl. It's, but if she grew up in Pennsylvania, or she grew up in any colonizing country and then grew up in the motherlands, she's going to be a fucked-up-ass dark-skinned woman. I'm telling you this. This is the facts. Look at how look at how a lot look at how corrupted dark-skinned melanated girls are in a country of USA. Just like, just like, just like their medium tone and light skin counterparts, they are just as fucked up, just as stuck up and bougie and ratchet just as them. It's because of the fucking colonizing media, and, and the colonizing media has taught a lot of these melanated girls of all skin tones, and most particularly, the colonizing slave owner media taught a lot of these dark skin melanated girls to view dark skin melanated males as uh as like you know thugs and shit right makes no sense it makes no sense like that because it, it's really sad for me to see a lot of dark-skinned girls in pennsylvania they let a white supremacy media have a huge effect on how they view dark-skinned melanated males instead of getting to know dark-skinned melanated males and actually appreciate when a dark-skinned melanated male is spiritually intelligent and trying to teach them something right it makes no sense soul family it literally makes no sense soul family and i'm gonna say this again a lot of dark-skinned melanated females in pennsylvania in a country of usa they let a white supremacy slave owner media have their brain look at dark skinned melanated males as as thugs right 
And that's and that's very terrible because a lot of dark skinned melanated females, they be so combative. They be so combative and argumentative towards dark skinned melanated males. They are spiritually awake, of course. Now, when it comes to these European Caucasian males in Pennsylvania, that same dark skinned Jamaican girl, that same dark skinned Jamaican girl who grew up in Pennsylvania, that's very argumentative and combative towards a dark skinned melanated male that's spiritually awake, she's not going to be combative and argumentative with a European Caucasian guy. Let that sink in, soul family. So you, you see where I'm going with this. Because I can tell you right now. I can tell you from my own experiences, soul family. I've had experienced dark-skinned, melanated females that were like combative and argumentative towards me. Because this is what the fucking European racist Caucasian slave owners have programmed into a lot of these dark skin and et cetera melanated skin females to be argumentative towards spiritual melanated men in general but most particularly racist slave owners racist call racist colonizing caucasian slave owners had taught a lot of dark skin melanated females to be argumentative towards spiritual dark skin melanated males that's in tune with african spirituality it happens all the damn time man and, and I'm surprised a lot of females in USA have not noticed. A lot of females have not noticed this in UK, Canada, and all these other Western countries. It's very sad, soul family. 